Hi everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist. And I have Katrina here with me today. She's with the Foxy Cat, and that is with a K. Um, you girls have to check her out, and I'm gonna go ahead and put her link below. So what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is create a really nice romantic updo without having to use a curling iron. She has very, very fine hair. Um, it's definitely very long, but um, it's definitely finer textured. So I'm gonna show you a few different techniques to make the hair look fuller. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to prep her hair, what I went ahead and did is added a little bit of sea salt spray by Label M. That's just gonna add a little bit of texture and grit to her hair. I also use their protein spray just to kind of give a little bit of uh, silky texture. That's a leave-in conditioner. So what we're gonna actually do is section the hair out. So I'm going from crown to about the occipital bone, and then I'm taking a diagonal forward section on each side, and I'm gonna clip away those sections on top for later. When I'm doing updos, I like to think of it as a puzzle. You work section by section, piece by piece. We're just gonna create a low ponytail by securing it with an elastic. We want it to be on the tighter side. This is gonna be the base to our hairstyle. Just gonna hold the base of the ponytail and pinch and pull a little bit for some volume. I'm gonna create our rope braiding technique by splitting the hair in half twisting over to the right and taking that section and going over to our left. Now our right, our left side's now over to our right, twisting it to the right, going up and over to the left. Continuing all the way down and I'm gonna secure the ends with an elastic. All right, so now we've created a rope braid. I want it to be a little bit fuller, so I'm just gonna securely hold on to it and pinch and pull. This is gonna really help give it a lot of bulk, a lot of texture, and make her hair actually appear to be a lot thicker. Now I'm gonna take the rope braid and create a low bun. I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it um, around the bun with some bobby pins. Now I'm gonna go ahead and release our clip, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and section the hair from the crown down to the top of the ear, and I'm gonna clip away the front sections away for later. All right, so now we're gonna start incorporating this section into the base of our updo. We're gonna take slight diagonal sections. So I'm just gonna go ahead and split the hair, section by section, clip away the top, and now I'm gonna take a tiny bit of our souffle by Label M, just to add a little bit of a lived-in vibe. Twist the hair a little bit, and then pinch and pull for fullness. You can see that that kind of created a curly texture without curling it. So now we're gonna start incorporating it into our low bun. We're gonna repeat this technique throughout the whole head. So I went ahead and bobby pinned our twist at the base now I'm gonna take the ends and just simply tuck it under our bun. So now I've released my front sections and now I'm gonna do the same thing with the front sections here. So I'm gonna take bits of hair starting from underneath going top, just twisting it going back, using a tiny bit of souffle as I go and then just simply pinch and pulling it. And you can see how much uh, texture this is creating and it's making her hair appear to be so much thicker than it actually is. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off with a little bit of hairspray by Label M just gonna spray it all over and then just kind of pinch and pull, kind of make the texture a little erratic, maybe kind of pull any pieces down to kind of balance it out, and that is about it. And you can see how it looks like we curled the hair a lot and we actually didn't. All we did was the twist and pinch and pull technique and it created a really beautiful, elegant updo. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check me out on Instagram at the Confessions of a Hairstyles and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon.